Here's a little geography class that we do together with my little preschooler and toddler. What we did is we just drew some little people on cardboard here and colored them and then we glued them onto little sticks, little lollipop sticks or other type of sticks. And then we punch them, we poke them into a little paper cup or a little, little styrofoam cup. And then we wrote some of the countries that these little kids are from. So as you can see, we're just going through a few right now. Some of the, some main countries that he's familiar with or that he has some of his friends there. And we started with Mexico. He drew a little map of Mexico and he got to paint it. And a little map, so painted the map. And then once again, these are little toothpicks and I just taped it on and then we poked it into the cup like this. So we have our whole little Mexico cup. This is just a very general broad little geography class. You can see the shape of the, learn the shape of the country, the name of the country, the flag of the country. We talk about the flag, why the flag is important and a little person from the country. So we're going through our different countries here. Now the way I just, I just draw the maps very simply like this on the little cardboard paper and we cut it out and paint it together. I just prepared these ahead of time. What I do is I just look through my globe and see, sort of see the shape of the country. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you know that they don't mind and they're learning kind of the shape of it. Anyway, we go through our globe as we go through each country. We find it. We look at the review our continents. And we review our little song, Jesus Loves the Little Children of the World. I go through different books. I, I have a few atlases or books about countries, so we go through that quickly. Here's a French book, we just talk about it. Different animals in the countries that we learn about. We do like one country for the week. And every day we learn a little, a different little fact about the country. So I found that to be very enjoyable for the kids. Here's another atlas. We look at the continent and the different countries in the continent. And the neighbor countries around the country that we are learning about. So they get a little general outline about the countries. Here I have a little um, flanograph. We can tell stories about people from the different countries. They get to put it on the flannel board. And, and that's it, our little geography class. We can do all types of things. Also, we look through um, I look on the internet for different arts and crafts projects. We do a little arts and crafts project about each country. We paint our flags in our country shape and color our little people. But then on top of that, each country has their own special little thing, unique thing. Whether it's a Mexican pretty dress and or Antarctica, something about ice. We can do a little ice science experiment. India, you can learn about cows, or China, you can learn about rice fields. Anything that you can think of, I'm sure there's plenty. There's France, you can learn about the Eiffel Tower. Anyway, I keep my little box with me always at my desk, or at the kids' desk. It's, it's got card paper. More little card papers, scissors, and markers. So I'm ready to make a class, to make flashcards, to make little pictures, maps, flags, and learn about things as we go. Anything that you see your child is interested in. Anyway, this is just a little idea of what you can do for geography with your child. So you can see we have our social studies box here, and I keep everything in there. Except these, once we've finished a country, we get to put it up on our shelf. So have fun.